This video is sponsored by Anchor Make. Stick around to find out how you can be the lucky winner of your very own Anchor Make 3D printer. Oh, this is a video that I have been meaning to make for weeks, but I just haven't had the time to do it. That is so sad. You see, if you have been following the channel for a couple years, you'll know this wasn't the original studio. The original studio was a lot smaller and there was just one row of printers. I had a couple Ender 6s, a couple Ender 3 V2s, and then a CR30. And then quickly I grew out of that studio. Why? So basically I needed more space. I needed more tables four printers. The layout of the room wasn't good. My computer desk was in the wrong place. There was just no room to expand. I was selling stuff on eBay, products on eBay, and I was only selling two or three products, but I was expanding the online store, selling more items, and more items means more inventory space. I keep inventory of everything I sell, so I'm not printing on demand. And needless to say, I grew out of the space and I needed to move. So, Moving is what I did. I moved across the hall from guest bedroom A to guest bedroom B, and the room was essentially the same size. But in the process, I was able to paint the wall and brand the channel. I was able to organize the room and lay it out better, and there were some struggles involved with that. One of those struggles is this 18 inches worth of space in order to access and enter the print studio area. I'm a relatively small person, so I fit, but I've invited friends over that I would say are average sized or even, you know, other people that have come to see the studio that simply have str struggles getting in. And these aren't even larger people. It's just, this is what I had to do in order to make access and room for this studio. And you've seen possibly in some videos when I have a really large box, the Chidi X plus three, the Hay Gears machine with this big monitor and this little space, getting them lifted over is difficult. And and so this studio definitely has some problems. This studio is where the channel started to get bigger. It is where the channel really took shape. It's where I started YouTube Shorts. That's what primarily blew the channel up. It's where I got heavily into reviews and some other content, but primarily reviews. And this studio is what's kind of locked me into doing reviews. I wanna do more projects, but I just don't have the space to do them. All of these angles that you've been seeing in this video were angles that were seen on YouTube shorts or in long form videos. And uh, things are about to change. Yay! The space that is this studio is less than 144 square feet. It's approximately 120 square feet. And at any given time, I've had a computer with a 49 inch monitor, a vertical 27 inch monitor for editing and other business related tasks, as well as anywhere from, mm, let's say five to 13 or 14 printers against the wall. So after all of that said and done, the actual walking space is, I'm looking now, let's see, like five feet there by like one, two, three, four, five, by about eight feet. So that's like, I don't know, probably sub 50 square feet of just usable walking space. We need more space. I need more space. So I just counted and there are nine 3D printers in the studio, but that doesn't count the 17 printers that are here. And that also doesn't count the probably seven or eight 3D printers that I have either sold or given away to friends and family in the last, I don't know, eight to 12 months. Ha ha ha. The new echoey primary studio. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve outlets for a total of twenty-four sockets. We have space. So I have desks all along this wall. And I did a little miscalculation, but I knew that before they arrived. So I don't think I'm gonna have desks against the back right now, but I have all these old desks in the old studio. They're as temporary storage for now. And I am going to first move them off and then I'm gonna take some of the new desks and put them along this wall over here. Let's get started. And here is the anchor make station or that is what I'm gonna be calling it. Anchor Make has easily been one of the most prominent sponsors of the channel and I cannot thank them enough. 
and their products are definitely some of my favorites from the entire fleet. Right now, Anchor Make is launching Make It Real, which is their take on a model sharing platform, and trust me, it is fantastic. Go and check it out, and do be sure to take a look at the currently running competitions because there are tons of prizes to be given out, and some of them are 3D printers. So if you join the model design competition, you have the opportunity to win an Anchor Make M5C or a Dreambox, and the Dreambox contains all kinds of 3D printing accessories and goodies. So if you're like me and you're not the best at 3D design work, you could try your hands at the DIY Home Improvement Competition. For the Home Improvement Competition, all you have to do is print and showcase some sweet functional models that you downloaded directly from Make It Real. And of course, this competition also gives you the opportunity to win that rad dream box with all those goodies inside. Go check out Make It Real today and thank you so much to Anchor Make for continually being an incredible sponsor of the channel. This is desk five. Had to do some cleanup work. And desk six is already assembled. And this one is number six. These are about 70 pounds each. They're not terribly heavy, but it's not that heavy, it's just they're really awkward is the, is the main problem. So what I really want to do now is just organize the space a little bit so I can walk around. These printers over here are kind of piled up. I want to move some of them over here so I can see what uh, I have to work with. Now moving these printers is not going to be their final home, but uh, just need to get stuff off the floor and really fill the space over here. Yes, yes, yes. So for the most part, the setup is functional at best. Now over here on this wall, we have a majority of the bed slingers that I currently have. And over on this wall, I have a lot of my high speed, high performing core XY machines. We've got the Bamboo Lab, the Voron, the Two Trees, SK1, and then my whole slew of K series printers, K1 Max, K1 and two K1Cs. And along the back wall, well, we have the resin set up and this is definitely not where I want it to be at the end of the day because I really would like the resin machines to be over here in this corner so I can open a window and properly vent out and suck new air in. Also, my Uniformation GK2 is under one of the desks over there and that is definitely gonna be a primary printer for resin for me. Of course, there is a big elephant in the room and that is the wall or the set or whatever you want to call it. And yes, I know the wall is white. I know it's boring. I know it's plain and bland, but hear me out. I really, really do not want to make a decision quickly on what to do with the background, whether I do 
hexagons and paint them or whether I do a mural or any other number of things because if I make that decision quickly, then what if it's the wrong one? What if I don't like it? What if it doesn't fit the print house brand very well? So that's just gonna take a few weeks or a few months in order to kind of hash out. And then once it's been hashed out, execution of painting or whatever it requires is again gonna take a few weeks or months. But at the end of the day, this is the studio that we have been waiting for for between six and seven months. A long time ago, it was just waiting. Back in December, we thought we were gonna have the space, but it got delayed to January. Then it got delayed to February. <laughs> Once we were here, it took a few weeks to get everything set up. We had to order a whole set of new desks. Then we had to build the desks and blah, blah, blah. This is very exciting. Hopefully, this is going to be able to allow the channel to grow. I can set up machines. I can do reviews. I can do projects. There's room for tons of activities. So many things that I have wanted to do. So many things that you guys have recommended over on the Discord channel or in the comments. So hopefully we can finally get to some of those projects.